I'm extraordinarily proud of our fellowship program. Certainly there are many outstanding programs in the United States, but I think our program is unparalleled. We offer a very intense clinical and research program, but one that's embedded in a very caring environment in which every fellow has personalized attention from a faculty of more than 20 neuro-oncologists. The camaraderie that we have here, the level of excellence. We have people who are at the forefront of research in neuro-oncology. It is wonderful to learn and to train with people who really are leaders within the field. The program is unique in many ways. We have an outstanding group of clinicians and translational investigators involved on both sides of Boston, here at the Dana-Farber campus, as well as across town at the Mass General campus. The competitive advantage of our program really is that breadth of patient volume, access to amazing basic scientists, clinicians in the field, and really being able to learn from a variety of different people. There's an art to neuro-oncology. Not all the answers are straightforward, and so being able to see how different clinicians approach a patient is just a really amazing experience as people are learning to develop their own skill set and ability as a neuro-oncologist. I'm Oluwatos Nakintola, also known as Tosin. I'm a second year neuro-oncology fellow at the Cancer Center. During the interview process, it really came across that they were looking for compassionate, involved clinicians, and they were looking for people who considered excellence to be their responsibility to their patients. That was one of the major reasons why I came here where the fellowship really shines and helps to set fellows up to succeed is the mentorship that's present at both hospitals. That's both here at Massachusetts General Hospital and Dana-Farber. You basically have the leaders of the field in neuro-oncology spend one-on-one -on -one time with you, not only improving your clinical skills, but figuring out what you want to do as a career, whether that be venture lab research, mostly clinical work, or for me, community engagement, as well as addressing more non-traditional issues such as health sciences population work. Boston is an incredible place to live and work. There are really so many opportunities in this city, but at the same time, it's a very manageable size. We have amazing cultural experiences here, a lot of diversity, fantastic sports teams, which are the best in the country. Boston is a great place to live. It has all the amenities of a big city, wonderful theater, great music venues, delicious foods, lots to see in here, while at the same time being approachable, accessible, that you have access to all those things, but you can also walk everywhere and enjoy the sights. Lots to do in terms of nature. I was never a nature person before. I did my residency in New York. Lots of trips to New Hampshire, Vermont. New England in general has beautiful nature that you just find yourself drawn to. This is an amazing program, both in terms of the breadth of clinical experience, as well as the outstanding scientific environment. For the fellows who come here, if they reach out and take advantage of the opportunity. We want to train the best neuro-oncologists in the country. If you're an incoming fellow, my advice to you is to take advantage of all the amazing opportunities in our fellowship program. We offer anything and everything available in neuro-oncology today, whether you're interested in clinical research, clinical care, translational research, or laboratory research. We know that we have a lot to offer, and we're here to help you find it.